Will Fujifilm X Pro 4 be announced in Fujifilm X Summit in April? Because the rumors are saying that Fujifilm X Pro 3 was discontinued. Let's talk about this now. Welcome to my channel, my name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about Fujifilm cameras, photography tips and tricks. So if you are liking content like this, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe now to my channel for more tips and tricks about Fujifilm cameras and Fujifilm gear. So let's get to the subject. The Fujifilm rumor site is saying that x 3 is probably discontinued, discontinued. So this means, this means that it's possible Fujifilm to announce Fujifilm X Pro 4 at the X Summit in April 2023. I really do hope that Fujifilm will announce X Pro 4 and not another camera or another lens. And I really do think that this is the best marketing strategy for Fujifilm. Why I'm saying that? Let's look what Fujifilm did in the last month. They launched XH2S, a premium camera. They launched premium lenses and all these premium cameras and premium lenses got traction. Then they launched XH2, another premium camera with the beautiful 40 megapixel sensor. Again, that camera had some traction and they came out with Fujifilm X-T5 based on the sensor of Fujifilm X-H2 and this camera rocked the Fujifilm world, rocked the Fujifilm world. So, will Fujifilm bring now small entry levels APS-C camera with the old 26 megapixel sensor? I hope no, I hope no. And I will publish a video why Fujifilm needs to bring X Pro 4 with the 40 megapixel sensor. So please be sure to subscribe and to stay tuned to see my next video why X Pro 4 needs the XT5 sensor. And it needs that sensor really bad. So as we can see, Fujifilm X Pro C was or is almost discontinued. This is a bummer in a way, because personally I would have hoped that Fujifilm will bring X Pro 4 in another way that will not be an X Pro 3 upgraded, but another camera. And this depends again on Fujifilm. Will they keep the screen? Will they bring the 40 megapixel sensor? And again, they really need to put that sensor. What will they do with the ergonomics of the camera? What will they do with the viewfinder, with the optical viewfinder of the camera? They will be able to bring a camera that will really compete, compete side by side with a Leica M system. So yes, I'm very thrilled with Fujifilm X Pro 4 and I really do hope Fujifilm will launch X Pro 4 at the X Summit. I really do think it's a big mistake if Fujifilm will launch XT50, XC6, XC5 and other entry-level cameras. Why I'm saying that? Again, they rocked the market with premium cameras. And a user who experienced XT5, XH2 and has X Pro 4 and is liking a rangefinder looking camera with an optical viewfinder and unique selling proposition from Fujifilm, a user like this is wanting and wants an X Pro 4 updated camera or better camera than X Pro 3. And I really do hope X Pro 4 will be such another camera compared to X Pro 3 that X Pro 3 will still keep his value as a unique camera. A Fujifilm ambassador proposed on his Instagram account that Fujifilm X Pro 4 should have a flippy screen. A flippy screen! I don't know, I really don't know what to say. Yes, with X Pro 4 having a flippy screen, I think Fujifilm will get some users but will upset many, many Buddhist photography users. Because, yes, a flippy screen could get rid of this problem and could help lots of users to have also the screen closed but also a normal screen. But I don't think this is the solution. If Fujifilm will want to make X Pro 4 
more interesting for lots of users, they could put a simple tilt screen on the camera. And I think personally, I'd be okay with that. So if Fujifilm will put a normal tilt screen or will keep this screen, I will be okay with that. But if Fujifilm will do the biggest mistake in their lives, like they did with X-T4 with the flippy screen, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fujifilm, please don't disappoint me. Put a screen for photography on X-Pro4 because yes, these cameras are able to do videography also, but we are buying this camera for photography. Yes, I have wish on X-T5, now a flippy screen for my video work, but I'm a vlogger, I'm a YouTuber now. But for someone who is doing photography and especially street photography, a flippy screen is not something that you want. It's not something that you want. So this is why I hope Fujifilm will bring the X-T5 40 megapixel sensor, keep this screen or use a normal tilt screen or find another implementation that will not ruin the photography experience. The photography experience and the X-Pro3 experience in using this screen is great. Yes, some people complained about the screen having problems. I didn't have any problems and I'm using this camera for almost three years or probably be there three years plus. But who knows, who knows? So I really think that if the design of this screen was with some flows, they can improve and repair the design and don't have that flow anymore. Because again, the experience of using this camera is unique. And yes, it can't be your only camera. It can't be your only camera. I know it's expensive and I know Lots of us are wanting one camera, but this is it. We are living in a world where we have multiple choices and X-Pro3 is a very, very niche camera and X-Pro4, of course. So this is why I can't wait to see what X-Pro4 will bring to the table. And again, I really do hope that X-Pro4 will be announced now in April. This will help Fujifilm sales a lot. I'm betting on this. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now for more content like this and be sure to check my other Fujifilm X-Pro videos. Thank you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.